Hi guys, thanks for coming out today. Let's get started. Today we're proud, well, proud isn't exactly the word, but we're here today to announce UFC 305, which will take place in Washington, D.C. on November 5th. We are calling this promotion the Battle of the Pathetics, which will become self-explanatory shortly. I'm not going to lie to you. We were hoping for a really big lineup for this one with some new faces, but it seems that even though this is the battle that no one, literally no one wants to see, it's being shoved down our throats by the RNC and the DNC. Thanks, guys. So without any further ado, here are our headliners for UFC 305. The challenger for the title has been here before, and it was a circus. He's since been charged 91 times for a slew of offenses, but his rabid, diehard fan base, which represents an unhinged demographic of the populace, keeps buying his shtick, so we have no choice but to put him in the octagon. Plus, he was not only a personal friend of Jeffrey Epstein, but he's my friend too, and also hangs out with C-list luminaries like Kid Rock and Scott Baio. He stands at a towering 6 foot 2 and weighs in at a... Am I reading this right? 215 pounds, 15 of that being orange makeup. Allow me to deduce, number 45, Donald the Golden Diaper Trump. Thank you, Dana. I'm looking forward to this pay-per-view, which will hands down be the biggest pay-per-view in UFC history, no question. Well, to be honest, we are not charging for this one. In fact, we're probably going to have to pay people to show up and pay people to watch it at home. Throw in some of my exclusive NFTs, a pair of golden sneakers, and some Trump steaks wrapped in secret documents from my freezer at Mar-a-Lago, and we can sweeten the deal. My fans will pay for anything I vomit up. I'll take that into consideration. I'll tell you what. I'll combine sing the national anthem for free. I'm pretty available the next couple of years. Uh, yeah, thanks, but we don't do the national anthem at UFC events. Call me. The Golden Diaper's opponent, should he make it to November, <coughs> Diane Feinstein, cough, cough. <laughs> the scrapper from Scranton, Joe Ruth Bader Biden, who doesn't know when to quit. That's a bunch of malarkey. I know when to quit. I can take this guy. I've done it before. Besides, he'll probably have a cheeseburger-driven cardiac infarction by summer. At least I can still remember my wife's name. I do, too. Mercedes is always by my side. Yeah, where is she now? She's, um, uh, she's invisible. Okay, listen, no one wants to see this fight, trust me, but here we are. Tell them why anyone should want to show up for this. Well, for starters, because my walk to the octagon alone will be worth it. It'll take two hours. My theme music will be a rendition of a Beach Boys classic. I'm picking up Joe vibrations. It's either that or onset Parkinson's. Probably the latter. I already beat this loser. The most corrupt, crooked, lightweight in our nation's history four years, oh, was it 40 years ago? And I can do it again. I don't even have to do it because I already did it. I'm still the champ. But you know what? I will do it again. Just like George Washington when he stormed the airports and Lincoln when he freed the Jews. He won't know what hit him. It'll probably be the stench. I'll sniff your hair until you crumble. Then I'll grab you by the Johnson because I'm a celebrity. And when you're a celebrity, they let you do those kind of things. I love you, Daddy. You'll always be the champ to me. Who are you again? Guys, try to save it for November, and try to live long enough to get this over with once and for all. I can't believe we're running this one back. So, if you've got nothing better to do on November 5th, tune in. Or if you're like me, you might be better off staying at home watching a Love Boat marathon on Tubby. Okay, that's a wrap. Any other questions or comments? Aye, this is all bollocks. I can lick either one of these guys. So give me the winner of this match. And by the way, both of your wives are in me DMs. Mm-hmm. I am listening. Mercedes, no, don't do it. Mercedes!